Hey, sorry I'm late to the date. I'm really excited for tonight. You know, I I know we've known each other for a while, but you know, I I'm really excited to get to know you better and, you know, have a date. Um Oh, yeah, you have questions to kind of get to know each other better? That's an awesome idea, baby. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Ask me anything you want. Jamie Scarbro asks, What's your name? It's it's Joe? Josiah? Uh, Josiah Rep. Um, I, I work in mobile, the department kind of next to yours. I wear a shirt that says tech on it and a name tag that says Joe. Yeah, that's it. That's the one. Bradley Veal asks, what are your interests and future goals, perhaps? A lot of my interests, I make YouTube videos, if if you couldn't tell. Um, uh, my future goal related to that would probably be I'm trying to get up to kind of weekly videos. Uh, right now, I kind of say Sundays, but then it's like once a month. Um, and that's not not really where I'd like to be, but I'm I'm working towards it, you know Michael Holst asks what is something wishful you're currently working toward slash hoping to accomplish this year? Um, you know kind of related to that. I've I've had this idea for a long time for um, a second channel like a let's play gaming channel where I have a different guest on each game I play so I record a whole series with a different co-host um, and I want to start that channel and kind of have different series I want to start that later this year um, I'm my plan is to kind of record a whole bunch of them and then like not start releasing them till like October or November that's the plan anyway um, I don't know if I'm gonna get that done because originally that was my plan last year and I never got around to it <laughs> so Whitney Driscoll asks, what are your future goals in life? Um, I guess other than uploading to this channel and this hypothetical second channel, um, my goal is to um, somehow turn that into making money and then move out from my parents' house. Johanna Hughes asks, free will or predestination? Ultimately, I think it's kind of a a mix of the two. There are things that uh, God knows about what will happen in the future and God makes happen along the timeline of history. Um, but I think it's also true that he gave humans with the ability of free will. And I think salvation is kind of part one and part the other i i don't think biblically i don't think we're able to say it's all one or all the other if there wasn't biblical evidence for both this wouldn't be a debate megan florence asks what story character do you identify most with and why also she asks what do you think of iron man versus cap what do you consider the best advantage in life who's your favorite author how, uh, where have you lived in the past? Where do you want to live in the future? Who do you admire most out of anyone in history? What do you do with your free time? Do you enjoy your work? Have you been to the third world? Give me a, the best example you know of a life well lived. That's too many questions, Megan. If you want to ask more than one question, you can go to my Patreon. I will answer Team Cap, though. Um, obviously... Uh, Cap makes some mistakes in Civil War. He kind of trusts Bucky without any evidence that Bucky's actually a good guy. Um, Bucky, at the beginning of the movie, is still doesn't fully remember who he used to be, and to some extent is still the Winter Soldier, as far as Cap knows. So, uh, the way Cap you know, defies international law to save Bucky. Not the best move. You shouldn't be attacking law enforcement based on something you don't know to be true. Um, but ultimately in the main conflict of the Sokovia Accords, I, I do agree with Cap. 
Ryan Matlock asks, tell me, do you bleed? Do you? Wesley Lehman asks, what's your favorite scene, line, character from The Princess Bride and why? Favorite scene is, I guess, a toss-up between the Battle of Wits and Inigo and Wesley's sword fight. I just think they're both, in different ways, very uh, well done clashes of wills of different characters. Favorite character is probably Inigo. I think kind of his quest and the lore around it, like the sword he has and the his quest to find the six-fingered man. I think that's the coolest and most interesting plot line in the story. Favorite line is, you keep using that word. I do not think it means what you think it means. The Mighty Fedra asks, hypothetically, what if your SO is like really cool, but you forget things because you probably have ADHD and she says, don't get her a present, but you want to make her feel loved, but you can't remember what she told you and you don't want to get another video game. What do you do? Baby, it's okay if you didn't get me anything for Valentine's Day. It's just our first date. Let's just enjoy the night. But like, you can always do breakfast in bed. Josh Taylor asks, what's that smell? Baby, I hate to do this to you on our first date, but who smelt it, dealt it. I got these as screenshots off of Instagram, so the next ones are all gonna be anonymous. Someone asks, what's your favorite dinosaur? Stegosaurus. Someone asked, do you have a favorite poet? This is kind of a basic answer, but Tolkien, whether it's like beautiful elven songs about longing for the sea or whatever, or um, the drinking song about the cat and the fiddle going hey diddle diddle that's that stuff is the best put it in my mouth are you a pathological liar i need to know before we continue this date no i'm not dang it there i go again i promise i'm trying to work on the pathological liar thing i i'm trying to work on it baby hey are you a tall ginger with great hair? Because I'd like to make you my chosen one. Chris, that's not a question. That's just a, that's just a flirt. But thank you, you too. Jonathan Edward asks, what's the most unrealistic relationship trope in movies? The fact that they're all straight. Julie asks, do you like rom-coms? I emoji. I haven't watched a lot of rom-coms, I feel like. Um, there, are, there are good ones, there are ones I like. Um, I'm not 100% sure what even counts as a rom-com. Nacho Libre's a movie, it's a comedy with romance in it. Is that a rom-com? If so, yes, I love rom-coms. Is The Princess Bride a rom-com? Then yes, I love rom-coms. Um, Clueless is a rom-com, right? I love Clueless. That's great. Um, the Muppets, the the 2012 movie, not the original original Muppet movie. Um, that's a rom-com. If you only look at Jason Segel's plotline, it's a rom-com. Anyway, I love rom-coms. Alyssa asks, what's your dream Valentine's Day date? Baby, let's not discuss this while we're on the date. This date is going wonderfully. You don't need to worry about it. Pizza Time Chris asks, What is the greatest love song? Give me a minute. Give me, give me a minute. There's a funny answer here, but because this is unscripted, I don't know. Don't know what that is. Give You Up by Calvin. Gwendolyn asks, What's the best and worst parts about Valentine's Day? The best part is getting to see you and the chocolate. The worst part is the expectation of having to spend money on someone you love and the idea that it has to be grander on this particular day than on any other day. We can go on special dates anytime. And while yes, 
Tonight is about you and me. It doesn't have to be. There shouldn't be that expectation or that fear that, you know, what we're doing for each other isn't going to be good enough. And that's the worst part about Valentine's Day. Pizza Time Chris asks, will you be watching the Daytona 500 on Valentine's Day? No, baby. I'm going to be right here with you. Cecilia Wear a Mask Bedelia asks, why isn't it socially acceptable to give valentines and candy to people as an adult? I want to decorate a box and get Fun Dip and Shrek valentines. Cecilia, you can. There's nothing stopping you. It is 100% socially acceptable to get valentines. You can get valentines for yourself. You can get Shrek Fun Dip things for your loved ones. It doesn't even have to be romantic love. Just give and eat candy generously. I mean, not too much. Don't, don't overeat on candy. Probably not good for you, but it, sh it is socially acceptable as far as I'm concerned. I'm giving you that permission. FBI Backflip Man asks, what's your social security number? Oh, Boys, I think our date might be a spam bot. 